What's going on, you beautiful people of the YouTube world? I hope you guys are having a great weekend. I know I am. The weather is cooled off. Fall is here. I've been waiting for this because summer here is unbelievably hot. So this is a uh, nice weather for me. So that's not what today's video is about, though. Um, I had a gentleman ask me uh, or comment on one of my previous videos about um, how I get the Arctix logo in my bash prompt. And what he's talking about is if I launch a terminal here and zoom in, this guy right here. Now, it's pretty simple to do that. If you know how to create your own custom prompt, then you know how to add stuff in there. Um, really, all you have to do is have um, Nerd Fonts or uh, Font Awesome installed on your system, and you can add those um, <clears throat> via your PS1 section of your um, Bash RC. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So if we go into my Bash RC, let's zoom out just a little. And we scroll down here. These are my different Bash prompts right here. Um, I have several different options here. I have this one right here, which is the one I have currently, which is just the Arctix logo. And then if I CD into um, .config, it gives me the, the path to the directory I'm in, the working directory. Um, if I go into a, a repo, it's going to give me the information on that repo. So that's the one I currently use. Um, if we comment that out and uncomment this one, let's write and launch the terminal again you can see that this one is pretty basic right here if i cd into dot config it's going to give me inside the brackets there that's dot config and i just have the dollar sign showing that it's uh, i'm user and not uh, root and if i cd into scripts it's just going to give me that it's not going to give me any git information so that's a pretty basic prompt there so if we comment that one out and uncomment this one and we write I have this one that's a little more decorative. Um, it's got uh, my username here, Jake at Artix, and it's got the date and time right here. If I cd into dot config, um, it's going to give me the home Jake dot config, but it's um, going to give me the path right here. And if I cd into scripts, um, again, I don't have any Git information in this one, so I don't have the um, Git functions called in these prompts. So that's um, basically those uh, different kinds of prompts I have there. Now let's go back to the one I am currently using and uncomment that. Let's write and let's launch again. How do I get the Arctix logo right there? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So let's close this out. And if we go down here and you can look in this prompt right down here, I have nerd fonts installed, nerd font icons, and I just put it in there. And basically, that's all you have to do is load it in there. And as long as you've got those installed and your terminal terminal emulator will display font icons, then you are good to go. Um, I have these other font icons down here for the, uh, um, the carrots right there or the bright arrows. Um, but let's basically take a little bit of a look at how to build your own prompt. Um, this one's pretty uh, interesting, but let's go ahead and just build one on our own. Uh, from scratch and if we go over to the, my second workspace here you can see I've got a bit of a cheat sheet here that shows the different colors and the codes for the different colors so we have foreground colors we have background colors and we have text what we can do with the text and then up here we have what each of the different characters is so the date you can have um, backslash D um, the format um, uh, backslash capital D we have an escape character, which is just backslash E. Um, the host name is going to be the backslash with an H. Um, host name is going to be backslash capital H as well. Uh, the number of jobs currently managed by the shell, you can have backslash J. Um, all these are going to start with backslash, so I'm going to stop saying backslash. <laughs> the base name of the shell's terminal device is L. Um, new line is going to be N. The carriage return is R. Um, got the name of the shell. Um, it's S. So of all different kinds of things you can put in there, you can put backslashes, you can put uh, Unicode, you can put um, the history number of the current command, the command number of this current command, um, or excuse me, the history number of this command. Um, and so there's just all kinds of stuff you can do. So let's go ahead and go over here and let's build another um, prompt. So let's do B, uh, PS1 and it's going to equal, and then we're going to start out with a backslash and then a square bracket. And then we're going to escape and then another square bracket. And now we can choose some of the stuff. So if we want bold font, we are going to put one. Now, number one can be bold or light, depending on what terminal, emul terminal emulator you're using. In mine, it's bold. So we're going to put one because we want bold. And then let's do for our foreground color. 
let's do, let's see here. We have 36 assigned. Let's do 32. We'll do green. So then we're going to do 32 M. And then we're going to do, let's do 43 for background color. And then we do backslash and then square bracket. And then let's just start off real quick and do a backslash and H for host. Now let's go ahead and write. And we have an issue somewhere. Where would the issue be? Oh, I know where it is. The Jake, you really got to pay attention here. So let's put the closing print or the closing quotes there. There we go. And so now let's go ahead and comment this out. Let's write and let's launch and see what it looks like. Nope, nope, that didn't work right. So let's do, if we come over here, I think if we get rid of the M on 32 and then we write and launch again. Yep, there now you can see we've got um, green foreground, which the green was the 32 and we have um, what's supposed to be a yellow background but I don't have yellow colors set up in my terminal emulator so um, and you can see we've got the different color background and foreground and it says the host name so let's go ahead and continue on let's go ahead and change the background color from 43 let's not have a background color and we'll just do M and then we'll write we'll quit we'll launch again and now okay now we've got green it just says Arctix okay so now let's go ahead and add on host name. Now let's do, uh, let's do date. So we'll do H slash D or write and let's launch again. And now you can see we've got Arctic's and then we have Saturday, September 24th. Now there's no space there. So what we want to do is we want to just actually add a space and we'll write and then we can go ahead and run it again and you can see our prompt says Arctic Saturday September 24th. So what else do we want to do? We could add in um, let's say let's do we've got the host name let's do the username so let's do but let's do that in a different color. So what we want to do then if we want to add a different color is we put the back the backslash in we put the bracket and then we want that to be bold as well. So we're going to escape and then we're going to add another bracket and we are going to add a one and then we are going to add the color. What color do we want to add? Let's do that in purple. So let's do 35 M and then we need the backslash again and the square bracket. And then we're going to go backslash U and then we're going to write and we're going to launch. And now you can see we've got Arctic September or Saturday, September 24th, and the user of Jake. And user Jake is in purple. So as you can see, it's really quite simple to kind of go through and create this prompt as long as you have a cheat sheet or if you know exactly what each of the different things is. So you want to add a font icon. So let's go over here and let's launch a terminal. And let's go to Nerd Fonts Cheat Sheet. And let's say, let's do a happy face. two words mm, we don't have a happy face so let's do just just do happy there we go so right here if you look it says f6 f4 now you can remember that code or you can click to copy it I believe maybe maybe not but f6 f4 so what we want to do is we want to come back over here let's close this out and so then if we want to add that what we got to do is we go into insert mode we press control V and then we do U F six F four. And you can see that smiley face appears right there. We escape, we write and we launch our terminal and there we go. Now we have Jake and a smiley face. So it's pretty simple to add whatever you want to into these prompts. Um, again, like if you want to add it up, if you wanted to add a function, um, let's go ahead and go up here and create a function real quick and we'll call it hi. And then let's go ahead and uh, echo hi and then we will close that out and if we come down here and we'll have that and we just go like this we just call 
that and then we say hi we close it and then that's it and we launch and you can see right there now it says hi now if you want to see that actually works and it's not just because i wrote hi there we can put how are you today and then we'll write and we'll launch and you can see right there it says how are you today so again it's real simple to do these as long as you can just find a quick cheat sheet that shows you if you don't know what all the different colors are um, and then just kind of get this uh, format down right here um, it's a little confusing at first but once you've done it a time or two um, it's really quite simple to actually remember this um, now ZSH is real similar it's not identical um, I don't have ZSH installed on my machine right now um, I just I don't have it on my void side but right now I'm on the Arctic side so um, I don't have ZSH so I can't go through that but it is basically the same um, I might put a video out about that here coming up in the future but for right now that's just kind of it you can see it's real simple to add and create your own bash prompt you can do pretty much anything you want with it um, the limit is your imagination basically so that being said I hope this uh, this helps I hope this answers your question and I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great rest of your weekend get some rest before you head back to work on Monday and man God bless